We have a brand new series scheduled to hit Apple TV Plus on January 27th and Shrinking, is it worth checking out? Here's my review. Shrinking follows the story of a grieving therapist, starts to tell his clients exactly what he thinks, ignoring his training, his ethics, and he finds himself making huge changes to people's lives, including his own. The series was written by Brett Goldstein, Bill Lawrence, and Jason Segal. Segal also stars in the series alongside of Harrison Ford, Jessica Williams, and Lakita Maxwell. I wasn't sure what to expect from this series, but I love the talent that's involved. And I do think that Apple TV does produce some of the best uh, TV series on any streaming platform. Early on when we meet James, Jason Segal, we get a balance of understanding how life for him and his daughter have turned upside down since the loss of his wife and her mother. Their relationship is broken. How he is working on his day-to-day -day job is not what it used to be, and nothing in life seems right. There's a few things in the series that stood out to me that I really liked. One, the handling of mental health. Two, the acting. And then three, the writing. Mental health is a very delicate topic that if it's done wrong on TV or in a movie, then it can come off really bad. But the trio of writers here wrote an, a, a powerful and impactful story about mental health that takes it seriously, that highlights how important it is to every level of whether you're dealing with loss, whether you're dealing with coming back from a, a fighting in a war, whether you're, you know, you're a friend dealing with loss. There's so many different layers of mental health in this series that stand out and, and it can't credit the writers enough for what they brought to the table in this subject. The acting, I could go on and on and on about how the writers brilliantly writ every single character, even the small ones, even the ones that you don't see as much or see just for a very few moments in specific episodes. Uh, just to break down some of the roles that I love, Krista Miller, who's not as big of as a pivotal character as some of the other ones, but she's equally important to the overall story, is perfect as Liz. Luke Tenney as Sean has some strong, strong emotional beats that you find yourself gravitating towards because of how relatable his character is. Harrison Ford has never been better as Paul Rhodes. Um, if you would have told me that Harrison Ford would be on the screen taking gummies and getting high, I would have called you a liar, but he's brilliant. His comedic timing has never, ever, ever been like this before. I loved him in this series. Jason Seagal continues to prove that he's an underrated gem of an actor. Uh, I love Seagal, and I think that he provides uh, an emotional layer and depth to this series that really shocked me. Two standouts for me, Lakita Maxwell, who's brilliant as James's daughter, Alice. There's many, many emotional beats in this series with her, but... One that was stood out to me the most was in episode nine. She has a very pivotal moment where she finally is starting to find herself, but then something happens and a flip of a switch happens. And it's like you just, your your heart sinks into your chest and you're just heartbroken for her character. All of that said, the MVP of this series is hands down Jessica Williams, who plays Gabrielle. Um, every time she's on the screen, she commands your attention, but She's she's honest. She's thought provoking. She's hilarious. Um, there's several moments in this series um, that she says something or does something and you can't help but laugh hysterically over and over and over again. She's just so funny. And what she brings to this series just simply would not work without this type of character who's very, very vital to the overall story. But you don't realize how important she is until you're getting through each episode. Um, I love Jessica Williams in this series and I, and I can't wait and I hope that people realize how good she is because she deserves to be awarded for this role. Overall, Shrinking is hands down one of the best shows of the last decade. It's the first show that I have given five stars to in a very, very long time. Certain times when you're giving a score to a show, you're like, man, there was one episode or one character arc or one person that didn't really work for you or stuff like that. In this series, the writing is so perfect that makes every character pivotal to the overall picture. You laugh, you cry, you cry from laughing. There's nothing about this series that I would change. I expect this to be in the plenty of top 10 lists at the end of the year. I hope it garners award attention because... There isn't a character on the show that I don't think deserves that type of love. 
shrinking drops on Apple TV on January 27th. You don't want to miss this series.